Hello and welcome to this video demonstration from Heller Consulting, your fundraising technology team. My name is Keith Heller and I'm very excited to talk to you today about the work that we did at the National Parkinson Foundation where we implemented Salesforce to help them uh, respond to phone call requests for information about Parkinson's. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about Heller Consulting. We help nonprofits select, implement, optimize, and grow their use of different types of software. We've been doing it for 14 years. We've served over 800 clients and have over 1,700 projects, and we really love the work that we do. Every one of us in the firm delivering services has previously worked in nonprofits, usually in charge of databases uh, or operations, and we just can't get enough of it, so we decided to make a profession out of it. And we have about 25 people in three offices in San Francisco, Chicago, and New York. And the types of products that we work on uh, with our clients are fundraising databases, online communication systems, uh, program management, and CRM systems, and primarily from uh, Blackboard, Conveo, and Salesforce. In addition to working on the technical side, we also help with back office best practices and efficient operations, and of course we uh, back all this up with very extensive training and education. So with National Parkinson Foundation, uh, their mission is to improve the quality of care for people with Parkinson's disease. And their primary constituencies are patients, those who have received a diagnosis, uh, caregivers, uh, those who are taking care of those with a diagnosis, and the healthcare professionals who are uh, serving both. So part of what they uh, do uh, uh, is publish a national helpline, and they have they were just launching this and realized oh, we're going to have a lot of people calling and how do we make sure that we respond to those requests for information effectively and efficiently and, and uh, make sure that the right information gets into our callers hands. Uh, so they asked us to help them set up a system to do that. So in more detail what they were looking for was the ability to track each call that came in uh, in the midst of that call, they would have to determine what information would meet the caller's needs. What kind of information was that person looking for? And then there would be steps to get that information into that person's hands. It might be an email, uh, it might be an information packet or a brochure that would get mailed to them. Perhaps it was a referral and they'd have to first call the uh, uh, folks who, to whom they were going to refer them and then get back to the caller, that type of thing. So all of that could be a lot of logistics and they didn't want anything to slip through the cracks. And of course, uh, at the end of all of that, they wanted to record or update uh, the contact information itself. So uh, finally, at a management level, they want to report on all of these efforts to see uh, what are people most often requesting? What are the most frequent requests for information? What information does, the, uh, does NPF have to meet those needs? How effective and efficient were they in responding to those inquiries? How many calls could they uh, take a day? When, would they, uh, when did they see spikes in the call levels? Uh, how did they make sure they had the right number and, and types of staff to handle those calls, etc. And then finally, uh, where the opportunities lie to improve or expand how they're serving their constituency, where there are certain topics that they were getting, they were seeing an upswing in, in calls around, and therefore they wanted to make sure they had more materials on hand, uh, with their particular uh, trends uh, within their constituency that they wanted to make sure that they were addressing. So in order to support their needs, we implemented software from Salesforce.com. Salesforce is a CRM system, Constituent Relationship Management. And at its core, it's a database for your individual and organizational contacts. And you're going to see a lot about it in the demo portion uh, of the presentation. Uh, but most contact databases don't do much more than serve as a Rolodex. And Salesforce is really powerful and versatile. It's very, very cool, all the things that you can do with it. Uh, and one of the things I really like about it as well is, uh, especially for our nonprofits clients, is it's in the cloud. That means that it resides in and is accessed by the internet. So there's no software. No, no software to install, you don't need fancy servers and things, and yet uh, you and your colleagues can access it from anywhere uh, with a browser or even with a phone. And even more than this, uh, of course it was built for the commercial sector so it's very, very powerful, but nonprofits get the first 10 licenses for free. So it's very easy to get onto the platform. So for NPF, we use very specific features within Salesforce to uh, meet their needs, and I want to tell you a little bit about them now and then you're going to see them in detail as we get into the demo after this slide. So we used uh, uh, features out of what they call the service cloud and the features that we use included cases which you'll see we use to track the call or inquiry itself. So each call was managed through a case in Salesforce. Then depending on what the caller needed uh, the 
person at NPF would choose the proper solution from a library of what Salesforce calls solutions. And that's really leveraging the best practices with NPF. Each solution has within it, uh, based on the keywords of what the caller was asking about, documents or, or suggested next steps for the staff person at NPF to take to meet the needs of the caller. So that every time someone called, you know, frequently similar questions would come in, but NPF doesn't have to reinvent the wheel each time a similar question comes in. They can leverage the best practices uh, that have been used in previous calls. Each solu some solutions are going to require multiple tasks in order to meet the needs of the caller. Uh, so we would use activities, and uh, that would make sure that nothing was lost in the cracks because perhaps the person needed to receive something by email, and then they also needed a mail brochure, and then you know you need to follow up about a referral or something. And so each of these things would be an activity so that uh, NPF wouldn't at any point be able to lose track accidentally of what the caller needed. And finally, of course, as contact database, you want to keep track of the people who were calling in and the people to whom uh, a caller might be referred. So with all of that said, uh, let's take a look at the demo and I'll turn it over to my colleague. The call center functionality begins on the console. This is your home base for everything related to open cases and open activities. Here at the top of the console, you can see the open cases that are still being worked on. It's easy to switch between all open cases and just your open cases. And it's also easy to switch between cases and activities, which are follow-up items that need to be completed before the cases can be closed. I'm going to switch back to cases. When the, you're looking at the open case, on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see contact details, uh, details about the person um, who's affiliated with this case. You can set up your own fields to show up on this view on the side. And you would also see if this person had any open activities or previous case history with your organization. And the main section of the console is the open case itself, is the main part of the screen here. And now it's very easy to create a new case simply by clicking Create New Case. And one of the great things about Salesforce is that you don't need to affiliate the case with anybody right away or at all. So um, you can start typing in your notes while you're still on the phone with the person. You don't need their name and address right away. You can just immediately start entering um, the information that they're from the case that they're calling about. Now, if at some point during the call you do get a chance to ask for some information, you can go ahead and enter, look up the person and see if they've ever called before and link them into the case that way. But it's not required. Cases can be saved without being linked to any person in the system. And as you're continuing on collecting notes um, during the call, you can see here there's different areas set up to collect different pieces of information. This is all customizable for your organization to collect whatever kinds of information that you need. For example, here in our sample, we have a reason for call that we're keeping track of here. And then when you've collected all the information that you can on the phone, you can go ahead and save the case. Now the case is in the system. There's another great feature in Salesforce that's called solutions. Solutions are great if you have a frequently asked questions, maybe a top 10 type of calls that you get on a regular basis, or there are certain situations where you want your staff to answer questions in a particular way in order to maintain um, a protocol that you have set up. So you can have your staff look for suggested solutions to their case, and when they find one, they can select it. Now in our case, the caller was looking for some introductory information. I can see here I have a solution already set up for that. I just select that to loop it into my case and connect it there. Once it's in there, I can open up that solution and find out more about exactly what it is I'm supposed to do. 
I can see here now in this situation for a first time caller, I need to send out an informational packet with certain pieces of information. Great, no problem. I'm going to go back to my case and I'm going to add a new task for myself to remind me myself to do that tomorrow. Go ahead and I'll set it for today. And then I can just type in my comments, a little reminder about what is it on that I'm supposed to do. And I can save that. Now I've got this follow-up activity associated with my case. And if I switch to my open activities, here I'll see that here's the one that I just added. I think it's trying to pop up a reminder there. So going back to my case, let me just uh, refresh my screen here. Here's my case that I was working on. All right, so now tomorrow after I send my uh, materials to this caller, I can go ahead and close the case. Um, I fulfilled everything I can for this person. I've sent out the information. I'm going to go ahead and mark this case as closed. I can add any other comments um, about what I gleaned from this case that I want to be part of the case record. And lastly, if I feel like my solution was a good one for this case, I can go ahead and submit that to the group and it'll be reviewed by the management and perhaps made available to my colleagues in the future when they encounter a similar case. Great, and now I can see here that this case has been closed. Now let's take a look at some of the dashboards that are available with call center technology. In this sample, we have set up four dashboards. Uh, one is to look at open cases by agent, uh, looking at cases this month, uh, number of cases by contact type, and the average call time by the type of caller. Now with these uh, dashboards, they're easy to refresh on demand or on a scheduled basis. And if you're interested in digging into the data a little bit more, all you have to do is click into the graphic um, to get a look at the report that is behind that dashboard. So if, for example, in this case, I wanted to look at the calls coming in by contact type. I simply show all the details of the report and now I can see all of the information that made up that report. And if I want to, I can click into the case and look at it. Um, I can see here how, if it's open or closed, etc. And I also can export out the details of this report to Excel or to a PDF, or I could print it. Um, there's a lot of in things you can do with this report once it's been de um, generated. So going back to the dashboards, again, if I wanted to take a look at another one, such as the average call time by the type of caller, I simply click into the dashboard to get a look at the information behind the scenes. And for any of these, I can um, show the details. And then I can do what I need to do with this report. Um, I can export it, I can print it, I can email it to somebody. Um, it's really a very flexible tool. Thank you very much for viewing this demonstration today. If we can answer any questions for you about our services and helping you choose, implement, optimize, or grow your use of software, please don't hesitate to give us a call at the number you see on the screen before you. If you'd like more information on any of these topics or access to our dozens of free resources, please visit our website at www.teamheller.com. Thank you.